right, guys, so we're back at the track. Uh, we left the hatch over here after uh, Cletus and Cars. Uh, we just left it and we came back today to pick it up. We left the slicks and everything on it, but we threw the tires back on her. And right now we're getting ready to take it back over to Cletus's shop. Um, it is still on the dog box. Something I didn't mention is that we actually drove it an hour over to the track on the dog box from uh, Cletus's shop. So now we're going to drive it back on the dog box over to his shop. And then we are also going to be picking up Vicky as well. She is parked back over here, right there. And uh, we are going to be using his old trailer to pick her up. And uh, the plan is to actually drive the hatch back to Colorado. So we're going to be putting Vicky on the trailer, towing her back, and then we're gonna put the stock transmission back in the hatch and bring it right back to Colorado. And uh, yeah, so right now we're getting ready to head over there. And we'll get back to you guys once we're over at Cletus's shop. Right, we just drove the hatch back to Cletus's shop. Already got it on the lift, wasted no time on um, getting the dog box pulled out. That guy's out of the car, so now we just have to throw the stock transmission back in. We already swapped the mount back over. Uh, we'll swap the speed sensor back over once the stock tranny's back in. We're gonna leave it out so we can refill it with fluid. But you guys have seen this coming in and out so many times that we're just getting it knocked out, getting the car ready to drive home. She did great, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the stock transmission thrown in right now put it all back together and she'll be ready for the 2,000 mile drive back home. Crazy, right? <laughs> Nine second, 2,000 miles drive back home. And we're yeah, driving right back. it back. So 4,000 miles total. With a couple nines in between. Yeah, with a couple nines in between. <laughs> all right guys, so we got the stock transmission put back into the hatch. She is ready for the road trip home. Uh, we also got the trailer from Cletus. He's gonna show us around that a little bit we have it parked down on the street right here we'll go over there in just a second but uh yeah getting ready for this 2,000 mile journey back home she's ready to go <laughs> all right so it's gonna be the walk around of the diamond cargo aka the boosted boys racing trailer now we're gonna have to change that see that dude this is the og this is the first trailer i ever owned cooper and i Freaking got this thing, and this is what we learned how to pretty much rip around with. We used to put the C7 in it when we go places, and we're passing the torch to the boys. Bag wheels, okay. Paid good money to upgrade those bad girls. Yeah. Some of the tires are new, some are quite used. But you guys, I mean, you guys think two <laughs> we'll out. So some things, it's just, yeah, it's okay. When I got it, screws started backing out of it. So I got some self-tappers in here. These are all self-tappers, actually. They, they use self-tappers for factory, but gotta keep an eye on these. So sometimes you gotta lock tight them, put them back in, but they actually haven't come out in a while. So you just see how it gets loose, though? Oh yeah, you just gotta, yeah, you gotta like, go this, through This them. whole panel, honestly, just needs to be replaced. You can, but I would just keep putting self-tappers. <laughs> That's probably what we're gonna do. Is, yeah, I mean. <laughs> we'll probably forget to even do that yeah. <laughs> until it comes off. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, I would just, yeah, leave it. And just send it. It's the one thing that really is like freaking bad about it. Um, oh, I did hit my mailbox once. I'll show you guys that. Remember that, <laughs> Yeah. A legendary just day. Just going That's through the memories. Strat, like, yeah. <laughs> honestly, cosmetically, it doesn't have, if you cleaned it, it hasn't been cleaned in a while. It would look really good, but you see this? That's in my mailbox. No, it didn't, it didn't even take the paint off. This girl's tough. I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Okay, so when I bought it, too, I paid some extra money to get all the trim powder coated black. So you got that nice white on black Makes look. Well, we got the Super Speeders Rob sticker on there. Yep. Leave all that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the scooter hangs up perfect, dude. Okay, so two, <laughs> two spare tires, which is good. You might need those. I don't, this is definitely my broom. Whoa, whoa, yeah, you whoa. can take that back. Yeah, no, no. That's the OG Cooper left it in here. You got this thing. <laughs> this freaking fire extinguisher, we're hauling down the road. Leroy in here, something fell on this thing, so it's empty. ABC dry dust the whole trailer. All Leroy, <laughs> everything, bro. So it's empty, but it's still there for looks. 
Cooper, they're trying to take our broom, oh, dog. Cooper, hey, he let us have it. Deal, bro. Hell, hell no, dude. <laughs> take my broom. No deal. Um, Deal's off. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's got the seven foot ceilings for me because I'm so tall. And then we installed these custom lighting. So you're gonna need a generator, <laughs> an extension cord, you just plug that in. Man. This is memories, bro. Huh? Yeah. So many memories. <laughs> they already got them on a scooter rack. I yep. know, dude. That's sick. You need a, little, you need a zip tie to back over because that thing might swing back. Yeah, it's forward. definitely going to flop around. Honestly, though, Get guys, you a zip tie right here. This trailer has taught me so much, and I'm so happy that you guys are getting it because, I mean, freaking hitting my mailbox, hopping curbs. We've had wheels fall off it, but recently we did. <laughs> We've had wheels. Oh, we have had wheels come off. <laughs> Actually, it was on the when we did the the car challenge thing. Remember when we had the? Oh, you guys. Yeah. Had the, oh yeah, I remember so like, when we brought the van. I think you guys will be good to, to get back to Colorado. We should. I mean, I'm sure the bearings were, were greased recently. They were but, when they did the tires. Okay. It's good to get. But when you get it back, you guys should probably do the. Just go through I mean, it a little bit. Aren't gonna do it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bearing service kits are like. Twenty dollars, and you get a new bearing and new races. And you just pound them out, put them back in. Yeah, I know Jamie will do it. I'll do the bearing buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, yeah. So, otherwise, it's been super low maintenance. I just hope it doesn't give you guys any problems. Just have the greaser. I think we'll be It'll all right. This thing's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys worry about. We're like, oh my god, clean this so much crap trailer. He sabotaged <laughs> us. <laughs> Nah, dude, this is a smoking deal for this trailer. Like, I'm, but I'm so glad it'll be you guys. It does seem sweet. Yeah, trailer. look at Vicky back there. Yeah, dude, our first trailer, your first trailer, dude, it's sick. First an enclosed is life, man. Like, once you go to an enclosed, you'll be like, wow. Yeah, we figured we'd just hang open up some trailer. hammocks in here and uh, yeah. camp yeah. out. There's actually some custom things. Right here. This, look at how custom this is. So when you put your tent up, you can zip tie it around the tent. That's what that's there for. Oh, sick. <laughs> a lot of fab work done. <laughs> all right, she's all yours. Awesome. I expect to see Boosted Boys ripping. Yeah, I think we're yeah, just gonna. The yeah, we'll leave that. Maybe we'll just put a little slash through this and put Boosted Boys yeah. above it. Yeah, just just mark mine out. <laughs> put your name. Yeah, above. I can just like use my vinyl cutter. I'll make it legit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Damn, dude. Can you believe this? So rad. I know. You're gonna miss her. Say your goodbyes. I trust you guys will keep a legacy alive. Oh, oh yeah, she goes by the DC. The DC? The Diamond Cargo, the DC. The DC. That's how you refer to that bad girl. Right there. Wear that sticker with pride. Yeah. <laughs> Stream quality. You'll see her glimmering at night. Yeah. She shines. Hell yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for coming again. Freaking congrats on your nine. Thank you, dude. That was so exciting. So, yeah, thanks so. for letting us use the shop for everything and Hell yeah, swapping dude. the trainees out. Yeah. Sick of yeah, it, dude. It was so fun. Yep. Cletus and cars sweet. would not be the same without you guys. Like, it would not be anywhere close to what it is without Dude, you it's such a fun event. You need to get more people to come out. I they know, don't realize man. how wild it is. Next year, like, just Cletus and cars presented with Boosted Boys and we just freaking crush it everywhere we go. Just. That'd be Crush sweet. It. I'm so oh, excited. Yeah. And now yeah, we got the trailer so we can come out. Yeah, we're yeah, down. Dude. Yeah, we're talking about a burnout car. We got some ideas. Now you guys can ride out. Don't have to ride 20 hours in the hatch. Hell yeah. yeah it's like three miles from It's now. legit. Emilio said he's going to live in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to build a little room up top. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the trailer The Diamond boys. Cabaret. Yeah, yeah so we Emilio's keep staying here, right, though? Oh, yeah. He, uh, we got to go make that He's a uh, He's ex-boosted boys. <laughs> All right, he's, uh, no, I am he's a chef actually. here now. Right. Yeah, he's not even driving I mean, back with us. He's flying I do, back. I'll blame you. <laughs> so we get just too now? much right now. Do we get Cooper now? He'll get in the truck. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were doing trades here. <laughs> Ready? It's time to head back. Yep. We'll put that on in a little bit. We got our piece. We're gonna stop for food first, but. We have to get our blankets and stuff out of the truck too, oh, yeah, in case we need a nap, yeah. but we're still gonna get food real quick, so. Yep, we're good. Got the hood dump ready. Hood dump ready. She's straight, and ready to rock. Fan in. We'll see Emilio back in Colorado, cause he's Don't taking a flight face. back. I had a ticket already, man. What am I gonna do? Drive back 30 hours or fly three hours? That's what <laughs> <got this. laughs> 
got this. I know you guys got it. <laughs> I don't like driving, dude. I can only, I only race. I'm only a race car driver. <laughs> only on the track. Only 10 seconds at a time? Yeah, 10 seconds at a time. Not nines yet, but. Not 30 hours? <laughs> We're gonna go back to cooler weather. Yeah, I'm sweating, dude. Go just moving around a little bit. Well, I'll probably be there, yeah, just about the same time. Cause I leave tomorrow. So I'll meet you guys at the shop. I get to I'll finally see there. it. Time to go to work. Time to get, yeah, straight to work, man. It's been fun though. These, yeah. these events, is, I don't know, they've been killing me. <laughs> I just need to sleep for like 24 hours. It's time to go Charge back. Battery. <laughs> All right, man, well, All we'll right. see you back in right, Colorado. Getting a retune for 91. Something else we just realized is right now it's snowing pretty bad in Colorado and it's probably going to get really cold once we get back over there and I'm missing this section right here that connects my heater blower motor to uh, the rest of the vents so we're probably going to try to make something to connect these later on so we can have a heater again in my hatch. I just never put this back in ever since we did the roll cage and we pulled the dash apart but we're probably going to have to rig something up because it's going to get really cold once we get back to Colorado. got you a better one. What is it? <laughs> I figured we could like put this in the break room and then That's you exactly can put that thing. like by the dyno or something. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the real thing. <laughs> what you got going on in there? Making the heater work. <laughs> it's getting cold. <laughs> it's getting super cold. You just buried the flashlight. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> Right. I need to show this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually almost so, down there, though. So it's kind of like, hard to see, but yeah, Brent's uh, engineering there's it. There's a Coke uh, box in there. Bro. That is a Coke box. And some Ruffles chip bag. Connecting the blower motor to the, the heater core. Yep, so I gotta fill in this and hole. And a lot of duct tape. A lot of duct tape. Well, if it doesn't move, that's honestly all you'll need. Yeah. It, and I want to close pretty the, good. And I want to close the outer flap so it's only circulating the inside. Oh yeah, so we don't so suck up not, any of the outside. Yeah. Hood exit it's, exhaust. Uh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you told me this is kind of your fault. You know that. What is? Well, it's half mine too. When I did the cage, you told me to leave that out so I could get the the one that doesn't have the right. condenser because it's it would fit better. Right. And it's not as bulky. Right. That but I true. I had planned on just taking just the condenser out and then re putting that, right, but that plastic one in there. We just gotta find a, <laughs> a Civic with no AC and then we're good. Yeah, we're a little late on that. <laughs> good thing you're addicted to Cokes. <laughs> <laughs> and Brent had a Coke work, box though. laying around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it should work like look at it. It's connecting and like <laughs> it's just a mess, just a ball of duct tape under there. Whatever, it's gonna work. <laughs> oh, it's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> we got heat. Is that a coke box and duct tape? Yeah. Is that what you were doing earlier? <laughs> oh, that's tight, dude. <laughs> we got heat. Oh, I feel it, bro. That's sweet. Did you? The heater's back. <laughs>
We made, made it, it, bro. <laughs> we made it. 4,000 miles and what, 18 seconds of racing. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go to bed for sure. Well guys, we made it home last night in the hatch all the way from Florida. It's definitely a lot colder over here in Colorado than it is over there, but she made it back with zero issues at all. Um, we didn't even have to wear the respirators on the way back because that little uh, extension we put on the exhaust helped a lot. We didn't even need the respirators. We didn't have any issues with the exhaust fumes. Um, the only thing we did have to do was get the heater hooked up, which uh, Brent engineered a new little piece out of a Coke box to uh, get the heater working, so that's all good. We had heat on the way back. But uh, yeah, another thing over while it was still in Florida is we did have to hardwire the fan to the battery. This guy clips on right there and you can hear the fan come on. Uh, somewhere along the circuit, uh, something's messed up because we also changed the fuse out. It was blown, but we, after we changed that out, the fan still wouldn't come on. So either the fan switch is messed up or something like that. We got to figure it out because that is also why it uh, overheated at the track on the last pass is because the fan wasn't coming on, but we'll get that fixed later on. But other than that, Hatch made it back with zero issues whatsoever. I'm so proud of how far this car has come. The last couple of years have definitely been an adventure for sure. And I would have never thought the channel would be as big as it is today. And I can't thank you guys enough for that, for all your support and everything. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. And it also wouldn't be possible without everyone else who has been involved either now or in the past. Obviously without Brent, uh, I wouldn't have a tuner, he tunes my car, and he gives us more knowledge than the internet ever could, and the hatch definitely would not be where it's at today without him, probably any of the cars. So Brent is obviously a really important part to everything, can't thank him enough, can't thank everyone else involved, like Jamie, Emilio, and even everyone else in the past, you know, Charlie, Jeremy, Hayden, Wyatt, I don't want to forget anybody, but without those guys, none of this probably would be possible, or else it just wouldn't be the same. You know, and things that happened in the past kind of suck. Wish we could go back and change them, but we're here now, and we just gotta keep pushing forward, keep going for our goals. But uh, yeah, I'm just so proud of how far this car has come. I'm also really proud of myself as well. A lot of the older subscribers will know that I put this motor together, I wanna say about a year and a half ago, ever since that uh, piston melted, because one of my injector wires got unsoldered, melted that guy really good. But uh, I put this motor back together after that happened and it's been the same setup ever since then. She's been running great. This car has the first turbo manifold I have ever made on it. Made it completely from scratch. It started as just a head flange and a pile of straight stainless tubing and 90 degree weld elbows. Uh, it is made completely from schedule 10 and the collector I did have made, that was the only thing I didn't do myself, but I welded the T3 flange onto it. I welded the 44 millimeter wastegate flange onto it, made it all myself. I did have a little bit of help from Hayden because he has made one before in the past, but I made this 100% by myself. Every weld is mine, and I fabbed it up myself as well. So I'm proud of that manifold as well. I made the up pipe myself. I made the wastegate dump myself all the intercooler piping I welded myself. It makes me feel that much better about the car knowing that I built it myself and didn't have someone else or a shop do it for me. So just another reason I'm really proud of the car. And of course we're still rocking the eBay 3582R. Thing's a champ. We got in the nines on an eBay turbo, so that is sweet as well. We did have to go to sea level to get that nine second pass, even though I know the car can do it up here at altitude. But either way, we ran a nine. And like I said, just can't be more proud of this thing. And what's crazy about that motor as well, I was just thinking about the setup. This is the same setup that has been in the car ever since we first started the channel. The only thing that has ever changed is it now has manly H-beam rods instead of Eagle H-beams. It used to have the Eagles in it, but I bent one of them one night. It must have overboosted or something. I don't know what happened or like pre-detonated and it just barely bent one of my Eagle rods. So I ended up changing those out. It didn't hurt anything else. But other than that, the setup is exactly the same. For those of you who don't know, this is a stock block H22A. Uh, I saw a lot of people arguing saying that my hatch had a sleeve block in it when it doesn't. It is 100% stock. The minivan uh, does have a sleeved block in it, so maybe you guys are confusing it with that. But the hatch is 100% stock FRM sleeves, 
and it is the closed deck so that's what helps make it so strong it's not an open deck sleeve it does have some support from factory around the top of the cylinder and uh yeah stock block has mall gold pistons with manly h-beam rods now it has super tech springs and retainers other than that the head is completely stock it has stock cams i've never even upgraded the cams in the hatch it has a stock intake manifold that has just been ported it has the bosch 2200 cc injectors that you can get off ebay for like 60 bucks an injector um twin disc competition clutch and it's just a really basic setup up until I got the dog box transmission and the five nine axles from the drive shaft shop. This car was a very, very basic setup and it would have been very cheap to build. The only expensive pieces, like I said, is that dog box and the axles, which are the parts that are most prone to breaking when you're at the track with a car like this. And the clutch, I guess, is actually pretty expensive as well. That's about a thousand to eleven hundred bucks, but everything else is very affordable for any of you guys watching but uh even on the stock transmission this thing would hold 500 five to 600 all day and it would rock stock axles all day and if you were only taking the car out on the street i wouldn't have any issue doing rolls all day or anything like that it's only when you launch these at the track that you're really starting to break stuff so i'm just really proud of how far it's come like i said i can't say it enough i've probably said that so many times and sorry if i'm rambling on but i'm just really excited for the car we finally got it in the nines I hit my personal goal. And another thing, I did the roll cage myself. Like, I'm just, dang guys, I can't even, I'm done there. You, you guys get it. I'm just proud of the Civic, guys. I'm proud of the hatch. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Uh, starting off today, actually, I'm gonna be heading over to the shop. We have to get a lot of stuff done over there. Start getting the bathroom working. I'll explain some more of that later on. But uh, yeah, start digging the hole for the dyno, all that good stuff. And that's going to be it for this video, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. And definitely more to come on the hatch later on. I think she is due for a new setup here pretty soon. I've come really far on the eBay Turbo Kit and everything I've done with the, the, kind, of get, the kind of ghetto ness vibe around it. But I think it's time to pull it apart, clean the hatch up, and... Uh, give her a little bit of a makeover, but I'm also thinking about working on the MR2 before that happens, so we'll see where it goes, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, see you later.